Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, Sag, what stands out to me right away, which I think I should bring out, is this King of Cups. Okay, so what we see is this man sitting here, um, and there's a lot of emotion. He's sitting on the water. Uh, there's a lot of emotion surrounding that cup that he stares at, that he longs for, I feel, but is also very afraid of. You see how he looks at it, but he doesn't uh, make a move, not yet, to pick it up. Okay, the reason that is happening is because he has... Uh, this this cup may have hurt him before and uh there was a situation that ended badly it could be for some of you that this is like on again off again on again off again and um uh cuz it seems like uh it seems like this has happened before it's like it's almost ceremonious there's three swords on the ground. There's one sword he carries on him. Um, he's, he's literally, his heart has been ripped to shreds. But yet he still loves. Yet he still desires that cup. So let's see where this is going. We see that there's a decision that is pending with regards to uh, the Ten of Cups, which is also in suspension. Right in the middle is this King of Swords. And so this is a decision. So there is a decision that is pending, having to do with a future event here. He doesn't know. Like Ten of Cups, that's his Ten of Cups, all right, but he doesn't know if he's going to uh, receive it. He doesn't know if it will work. Maybe he's trying to uh, uh, work out a strategy. Okay, so he's being challenged to make this decision. That's what it is. And there's like no easy way around this. Okay, so um, there's no easy way around it. Um, He's worried about making the right choice, or is this the right choice? There's a lot of worry here with the noose. Um, there could be, it could be with the noose and the mountain and everything else I'm seeing here. It could be that there are thought patterns, especially that the king of swords is here. There are thought patterns that hold this person back and prevent them from doing what what they want or from advancing or, you know, moving forward. So they're feeling stuck. Now, uh, these thought patterns probably were created by this and the Three of Swords. They feel like they're going to uh, get hurt. Yeah, there's the pattern there with the devil showing up again, uh, reassessing uh, a situation, uh, reassessing maybe even uh, looking at their fears in order to move forward with something. This is about, again, this is the decision, you know, to this, this is the cobbler in this deck, and he is about repairing or uh, should he repair or make uh, make a new pair of boots, you know? And and so uh, this would be about should I repair this relationship or should I uh, start over in new, you know? And temperance is here uh, to suggest this this healing. And here's the wheel of fortune. And this person, I feel that I feel that to start in new is like. There's no question that, that that's what they want. They don't. What they want is to repair, okay? They want to heal. They want another chance of the wheel of fortune. That's what they want. They want it, but they're afraid of it. 
So their challenge is going to be in taking that decision in getting the courage to take that de decision and to uh, make the move. Okay, or make their move. They're feeling really on edge, okay? So they're really feeling on edge. They are preparing uh, their thoughts. They're like they're preparing themselves um, to do this. This is uh, the social life, uh, their social life, and uh, their social life is, is not much. If I look at this card, they're withdrawn and uh, they're very lonely. Um, they're hiding their heart from you. They're hiding their feelings from you. Um, when they walked away, you, you couldn't have known what this person was feeling, you know. Um, you wouldn't have known. They would have kept that hidden. He's very good at, at hiding his feelings, and you can clearly see that this page is hiding his heart, and his eyes are downcast. So he's also uh, very good at hiding this. It, it, they didn't want you to see how they were feeling or how they were hurting, even if it was them that walked away. Um, so there's information they don't have. The book is here. Um, the book... Uh, the book can represent incomplete knowledge. Um, there's, it could be that there, there's things that this person doesn't know yet, uh, but will learn soon. Uh, will hear this news because we have an ear here, so they're going to hear some good news. Um, news that I think comes from out of this book. All right, so now we have uh, the wings and the broom up here. So um, the wings can be messages. So that could be bringing this news. Um, it can indicate something or someone that's flying towards you. Um, it can indicate improvements with regards to what you are inquiring about, okay? It can be news that's incoming that will set you free. One minute, I'll be right back. Yep, so this news uh, that's coming is new information that can set you free, okay, from uh, whatever has been troubling you, okay? Um, the broom, uh, the broom is like uh, the s sweeping out of the old and moving forward with the new. So the news that's coming will allow you to do that, will allow you to sweep out the old. You don't have this yet. This is something that will be coming. We see it coming over here. Okay, you don't have it yet, but just know that this will help to clear this up. Um, it'll clear up a situation that happened between you and this person. This person did something, may have behaved badly. There's recognition for bad behavior. Okay, so uh, with the turkey and the firecracker. Okay, so this is somebody behaving badly, uh, foolishly. And um, the firecracker is, uh, in this case, it is somebody who exploded. All right. And I think that they just wish that they could, you know, turn back the time. Um, I think that they would have handled this differently. Um, the child can speak to childish behavior, um, and we got foolish behavior here, but it can also speak to uh, old wounds, okay? So wounds of the past, um, possibly that are 
are or were behind this behavior. The card of belonging. <laughs> okay, so somebody, uh, this person, uh, so, f so far, up to this point, may have been giving you the cold shoulder. They may have been ignoring you. Okay, but with the moon sitting under it, things are not as they appear. Okay, they're not as they appear. The peacock, the scales, the gong, the bang, okay, the bag, I mean, the, um, the peacock uh, can be a watchfulness. Um, it can be about uh, confidence and, and getting confidence. It could also be about pride and somebody who has great pride. It can be an invitation for this person to shed uh, emotions and identities that no longer serve them and bravely step into a more confident version of themselves, you know, especially that they've been haunted, obviously, by ghosts of the past. Um, I think that, yeah, with the devil here, also patterns we're, we're seeing and that ten of swords, we see a pattern again, that it's time to deal with those uh, ghosts of the past that hold them back from, you know, uh, from their happiness. So here's the challenge again with the strength card, getting the strength, the courage to, to take action on this, to take the decision to, uh, to follow their heart and send off this message. They don't know how it's going to end, you know. Um, but let's go to the fool, okay? So the fool, the fool, he's, he's already lost one shoe, okay? Um, but, you know, his heart still wants to follow this path. Even though he's aware that his next step could possibly hurt because it's an unknown future. Oh, look at that, the temptation of the lovers. So this is a, a, an, a there's an unknown outcome or future to that action, right? The two giving in to this temptation to uh, follow through and send off this message. So um, his eyes are closed. <laughs> his eyes are closed. He's got that rose behind his back. Okay, so he's, he's aware that not this next step is, is going to hurt. His eyes are closed. His head's turned away. Uh, he's afraid of getting hurt. But he's still uh, walking. And he will take that leap of faith for love. And so you... This is followed up by these messages. So he's going to take that leap of faith and he's going to send off that message. This is serious business. When you get this message, I, I feel that you should respond right away. Don't make him wait and suffer. <laughs> you need to respond um, because they will be kind of waiting on pins and needles. Um, scale, uh, the gong and the bag. So the scale is... Um, well, if you wish to experience uh, this balanced life, okay, then you must analyze your lifestyle and do whatever is necessary to restore a proper balance. And I feel like this is what they are doing. The gong on that foretells of an exciting event that's in store for this person once he takes that, that, that action, you know. Uh, something, something very noteworthy is about to happen here, okay. So, and there, look, you have the bag. This is big, okay. This is something really, really important. Um, whatever is in this bag is important, but uh, they, they do not realize it yet. So, the table it's on, 
well, would represent the tables. Tables represent hard work. Okay, so, uh, and the contents of the bag would be their reward. So they have worked hard or will have worked hard to get to this point and they're about to be rewarded. So something really noteworthy, uh, uh, a big event here is about to happen. Now, it could even be with the bag um, that somebody's getting a wish. A wish, a new opportunity, advancement here, uh, where before there was none. And so, although they... <laughs> Although they're afraid and they've, you know, they've already lost one shoe, um, their heart still wants to follow this path, you know. And uh, yes, he's very aware that he could get hurt, but he's willing to take the leap of faith for love. Yeah, willing to take the leap of faith for love. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.